Hey friends and family, you're watching uh, Wayne Carey Global Channel. I am Pastor Wayne Slinker Carey, and this is a place where giants are slayed. Uh, those of you who watch our content, and if you like the content, uh, we would love for you to be a part of our community. Uh, so here's what you can do. Uh, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, uh, so that you can be notified um, as we bring forth content to you um, on a weekly basis. We've been doing that, matter of fact, daily, and that's our, our desire to bring the content to you uh, daily uh, so that you can be refreshed here on our channel. Uh, we add value to you, and we know that there is an incredible life uh, that God has designed for you and I to walk into, and so we are here to, to add value to you and help you to live uh, that incredible life uh, that you so desire. And so we've been talking in, in our last sessions, we've been talking about uh, just positive things or principles that you can apo uh, apply to your life um, to you know, help your relationship to grow, uh, positive things that you can do um, as a partner in your relationship to, you know, to get the best out of your relationship. And so we've been talking about that. And so today, um, I want to share with you today, uh, we want to talk about your relationship is really not about you your relationships it's really not about you and when we think about it you would say well if it's not about me then who is about <laughs> really uh but and you know we're going to go into the word uh the principles the foundation of everything that we we teach it has to do with biblical principles that we believe in and and we we want you to apply these principles to your life. But today we're gonna to be share with you talking about uh, your relationships. It's really not about you. I'll be reading a scripture from the Amplified Version of the Bible and it says, now the Lord God said, um, this is Genesis chapter two, verses 18. It says, now the Lord God said, it is not good, it is not beneficial uh, for the man to be alone. It says, I will make him a helper, uh, one who balances him, um, a counterpart, uh, who is suitable and complementary uh, for him. And uh, we speak of that, um, the institution of marriage, it comes from God. The institution of it, it comes from God. And it's not our own ideas and it's not our own philosophy. Uh, before we think of marriage, uh, we need to let go of our own uh, selfish desires and, and say to ourselves that I am going to be at my best to compliment my partner. So it's really, it's not about you. And here it is. God has something uh, that he wants to do in and through your life, in and through marriage relationships. And there must be a connection uh, with him for his desire, uh, for his desire. Now, this is not our desire, for his desire through both of you to be fulfilled. We speak of the relationship is not being about you. I've asked myself the question just driving before um, I was going into uh, marriage at the time and, um, you know, we engage and, you know, excited about the moment. And so I was just driving in my car, you know, the question came and I made a decision. The question came, it's like, okay, Wayne, you're the 10th out of 10 children, you know, you're the baby, you know, you're used to things going away, uh, used to everything just, just going away, going smooth because, you know, hey, you're the baby, you're, you're kind of spoiled. Uh, but the reality of it was that the question came, do you, I mean, you know that it's not, that's not realistic. That's not going to happen uh, when you connect and leave your mom and dad, cleave to your wife. You know that it's not always going to go your way. And that's a decision that I just made um, right in the car, just driving the reality of it, that when I go into my marriage, that is not about me and it's not always going to, things are not always going to go my way. And that's, that's really, that's the reality that's being uh, straightforward and, and having a clear understanding that it's not going to go your way all the time, right? It's about the other partner and at the same time with the other partner, it is about you. And so it's about complementing each other and, and knowing uh, the values that each other has. And that's something that we would get into uh, maybe in one of our other uh, broadcasts when we speaks about va um, value understanding each other value and um, you would do nothing to uh, you know to discredit those values and so it's really not about you um, your relationship is not about you and so God has something that he wants to do 
in and through your marriage relationships, right? There must be, uh, there must be a connection with him. It must be a connection with him uh, for his desire through both of you to be fulfilled. And so, again, we speak of the 53% uh, from the disease center of control, and that was years ago. It was like 53% of marriages, um, you know, are, are in divorces. So we have uh, 53%. That's, that's, that was then, and I, I'm sure it's a lot higher now. So you could say uh, maybe 60. It could be that, or maybe still in the 50s, but it's, it's pretty, it's more than half. So more than half. Of, of relationships will have mar well will have divorce and so that's what we have to think about and know that it's really it's not about you it's about each other and so it's about each other but at the same time it's God he's the one that has instituted it and so we have to again play by his rules apply the principles that he's established through his word and, and and if we live those principles then those, these are the things that's going to happen. We're going to have a successful relationship, a happy, fulfilled relationship because it's God ordained and we have to go by his rules. It's not our, I, our own ideas. It's not our philosophy. It's his kingdom mindset. And that's what we have to apply to our situation. So, so your relationship is not about you. It's really about God in fulfilling his plan in his ordained marriage. It's his ordained marriage that he has given us to enjoy. And with both persons walking together and adhering to his principles, uh, then we will experience the fulfillment of that marriage relationships. And that's really what it's about. And so are, it's, it's not about you. It's really not about you. It's about God. And as we come together together, as two people, marriage itself is a, is a revelation. I mean, two persons come together from different parts. They come together, different families, different beliefs, and they come together as one. And they are fulfilling God's plan, His desire for marriage. And once we implement those things in our relationship, it is His desire for us to have fulfillment and His desire for us to have joy in our marriage and for our marriage to last. Let's pray. Father, I give you thanks, give you praise. I speak, Father God, right now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring marriages, relationships, families, oh God, before you. We come against every uh, division, every spirit, God, that has been assigned to a destroy. You said in the word that who God has put together, let no man put asunder. So, Father, on behalf of my wife, uh, Janice, we speak and declare uh, right now, Father God, that their marriages, as they begin to apply the word of God and adhere, God, to your principles as they apply it, God, that they themselves will have a fulfillment in their marriage. We thank you for it, God. We give you, we, we, we speak peace to it, Father. We come against every spirit of division, everything that is contrary to you, Father, and we declare that your word will be established in their lives and they will experience what true joy is in a marriage relationship. We bless you, we love you, and we'll see you in our next session. Have a great one.